This is problem 88, chapter 3. A projectile is launched from ground level to the top of a cliff, which is 195 meters away and 135 meters high. If the projectile lands on the top of the cliff 6.6 .6 seconds after it is fired, find the initial velocity of the projectile, magnitude, and direction. Neglect air resistance. So the first order of business we select up as positive, acceleration in the y direction equals negative g, acceleration due to gravity. The displacement of the projectile in the y direction is 135 meters, in the x direction 195 meters, and that is the range of the projectile. Time of flight is 6.6 .6 seconds, so in order to solve for the magnitude of the velocity, the velocity is at an angle, so we know it has a y component and a horizontal component, which is the x component. So vx is equal to the initial velocity cosine theta, and vy is equal to the initial velocity sine theta. To solve for the magnitude, we find the horizontal x component of the velocity. We do that by using the displacement in the x direction times the velocity, the x component of the initial velocity times t. That is equal to the displacement 195 meters over 6.6 .6 seconds. The, velo the x component of the velocity is equal to 29.55 meters per second. The y component of the velocity can be found by using the time of flight equation, which is y equals initial v y initial times t plus one half the acceleration in the y direction g squared. The final final distance in the y direction is 135. The initial was zero. We need to find the y component of the velocity, the time is 6.6 .6 seconds, plus 1 half, negative 9.8 meters per second square, times 6.6 .6 seconds square. Now the initial velocity, the y component of the the y component of the initial velocity is equal to 52.79 meters per second. Now to find the magnitude of the initial velocity, we square, we take the square root of the x and y component square, so that is the x component square plus the y component square, that is equal to 29.55 meters per second square plus 52.79 meters per second square. So the initial velocity is equal to 60 meters per second. Now to find the direction, we use tangent theta. Which is y over x. We would like to find the angle which would give the direction so we take the inverse tangent. The y component of the velocity is 52.79 meters per second divided by the x component 29.55 meters per second and the angle or theta is equal to 61 degrees. So the magnitude and the direction of the velocity. Magnitude is 60 meters per second, direction is at 61 degrees. That's it.